It all started from these three countries who wanted revenge after the First World War. Let us start with Germany. So Germany was actually in the losing side of the First World War, and its leader, Adolf Hitler, wanted to reunite all of the German people after it was broken apart by the Treaty of Versailles in Paris. Meanwhile, in Italy, despite actually winning the First World War, they received less than they were expecting. So their Prime Minister, Benito Mussolini, wanted revenge on the Allied powers. In the East was an industrializing nation called Japan. After the West imposed many unfair treaties, Japan was very hungry for power and resources to show the West that they were not someone to be fought with. So the three empires decided to become allies. In complete violation of the Treaty of Versailles, Germany started to militarize and proceeded to march to Austria, another violation. Germany began implementing the strategy of appeasement, which went like this. Can I have Austria? For the security of the world? Sure. Can I have the Sudetenland region? No. Why did you let the Germans? Um... The Germans used the strategy to practically tease the Western allies while benefiting them at the same time. The Marco Polo Bridge incident is considered by some to be the start of the Second World War in the East. This helped the alliance to gain more confidence. Now back to the West, Hitler decided to invade Poland next, which was the final blow to the Allies. They finally declared war to the Axis powers. And that is how World War II started. Thank you for watching. Bye!